All right, looking at the back side now, P150. So here I have a closed circle. So I know I'm going to be using a greater than or equal to or a less than or equal to sign. I know I'm going to have a variable on one side. And the number on the other, the closed circle is at negative 2. So now you just need to decide, do you, are you going to use the greater than or equal to or less than or equal to? Well, this is shaded to the right, so I know I need which one. I'll let you decide. Okay, describe the graph of g is less than 0 0.6. So just put it in words. You're going to have an empty circle. At, where is that empty circle going to go? 0 0.6. With shading to the, which direction? Well, it says G is less than. Less than is which direction? So you're going to write in that direction here, and then you'll be done. Okay, number three, write an expression. So no equal sign that shows the product. So I'm going to be multiplying of 5 and the difference. So I'm going to have subtraction of 12 and 9. So 5, the product of 5 times, product means times, the difference of 12 minus 9. And we need to put these in parentheses, otherwise you'd be forced to do this multiplication first. And since I have it in parentheses, if I want, I can even get rid of that multiplication sign and just put the 5 right next to it. Okay. But you definitely need these parentheses because otherwise the order of operations says do this 5 times 12 first. And that would give you a different answer than the difference of 12 and 9 times 5, which is what the problem is asking us to do. Okay, number 4, what is the solution of the equation? Well, remember our goal is to get this n by itself. So I have to get rid of this 8.7. So I do the inverse operation of adding which is subtracting, and you're going to subtract 8.7 but from both sides to get what n equals. And I'll let you do that on your own. <clears throat> Number five, the equation 12x, which means 12 times x, equals 96. Gives the number of egg cartons x needed to fill, needed to package 96 eggs. Solve the equation. So we have 12 times x equals 96. Well, to get x by itself, you have to do the inverse operation or the opposite. This is multiplication, so the opposite would be to divide both sides by 12, and that will tell you what x equals. Okay, number six, the lowest price on an MP3 song is 35 cents. Write an inequality that represents the cost C of an MP3 song. So I know I'm going to have uh, C as my variable. The lowest price is 35 cents, so it can be equal to 35 cents. So I know I'm going to have 35 cents on the other side. <coughs> I know it can be equal to 35, so I know there's going to be a line underneath. And this says that 35 cents is the lowest price, so the cost is going to be greater than or equal to this low, low price of 35 cents. All right. Again, if you have any additional questions, now's the time to ask. Okay, I can't help you on your test, but you're going to have problems similar to this on your test. So if you understand the concepts, you can apply it to any type of problem. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.